Hello, and welcome to all my Mariner friends. Let's discuss Bunker Convention. International Convention on Civil Liability for Bunker Oil Pollution Damage, 2001. Effect from the 21st of November, 2008. Why came? It gives adequate, prompt, effective compensation to parties who suffer damage from bunker oil spill to plug the gap left under CLC, non-tankers which are not covered under CLC. Cute definition of bunker oil. Any hydrocarbon mineral oil, including lubricating oil used or intended to be used for the operation or propulsion of the ship and any residue of search coil. Example, winch coil, stern tube blub oil, VRCS oil. Now the question asked. What is the need of the Bunker Convention? Hence, there were loopholes in CLC Convention, not applicable to oil tankers during ballast condition. In case of bunker spill that is non-persistent oil CLC Convention on oil tankers is not applicable. Non-tankers are not in scope of CLC. In case of bunker spill from non-tankers, CLC is not applicable. So, there was a need to address this bunker convention. Now the question asked. Who is liable in case of any compensation for the bunker oil spill? Registered owner or the onboard charterer because they got the blue card from the P&I club. They have the financial security in place and the coastal state goes against them. If the owner declared bankruptcy, then against the manager or operator. If the owner cannot pay so much over spillage because of pure negligence of manager or operator. Exclusion This convention shall not apply to pollution damage as defined in CLC means compensation will pay out by CLC only, not by bunker convention. Example, if a loaded tanker does any spill, means, it is fulfilling the condition of CLC, so bunker convention is not applicable. Owner is exempted when damage, result of war, hostilities, civil war, natural phenomenon, intentionally done by third party, negligence, or other wrongful act of government, or other authority. In Bunker Convention, no need to create a limitation fund to enjoy the exemption. Out by P&I Club. But in CLC 69 and 92, ship owner has to create limitation fund. This is a drawback of CLC. Limitation of liability, limitation of ship owner link to LLMC. So here check that the coastal state is party to LLMC 76 or 96. Then compulsory insurance or financial security. If the vessel size is greater than 1000 GT, then you require compulsory insurance. If size is less than 1000 gross tonnage, bunker convention is still applicable but you don't require compulsory insurance. A certificate attesting that insurance or other financial security issued by the state party or any other government authority. Unit of risk. Micromort is a unit of risk, defined as one in a million chance of death. Micromorts, can be used to measure riskiness, of various day-to-day -day activities. A microprobability, is a one in a million chance, of some event. Thus, a micromort is the microprobability, of death. A micromort is calculated by, Dividing the number of conflict-related fatalities by the number of days, dividing this number by the population of a given unit, and then multiplying this value by one million, in order to determine the one in a million risk incurred. Now question, may be asked, you're going to a port. How do you convince the port authority that, in case of oil pollution, the port state shall be compensated? You have to say, from CLC and bunker convention coverages. Next question is, why do you need both a blue card and attestation certificate, why one is not enough? Answer to be safe is, both blue card and certificate of financial security required to be carried 
on board. That is because, the reference number, or type of security included, in the blue card, is carried forward, for reference in COFR. Next question is, do we have an expiry date for the certificates, issued under CLC and Bunker Convention? Would it be the same as, P and I Club certificate cover? Answer is, it is maximum one year, same as blue card. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be adding more videos. Please feel free to ask more question in comment box.